My name's Steve, and uh, from Hustle and Fish and Fishizzle, and I'm with uh, Scott Colburn, and he he hooked us up uh, with the Stax Brothers. So you're you're kind of the man behind the Stax Brothers as far as uh, producing them, and uh, and also the Quit. So um, it's pretty cool, and I'm I'm just kind of excited to uh, to hear you know exactly what you. Uh, we had going on to you know produce the Stax Brothers or how you came, how you came across them I guess. Well, actually, the Stax Brothers came to me via their drummer Denali Williams played in another band called Goat that I had done a record with, and Denali and I kind of connected on uh, a, a Zappa love, and um, so we just connected that way. Cool. And then um, he contacted me. I guess um, according to Davin. Uh, he insisted that the Stax Brothers record with me, um, given what I had done with his drum sound on the Goat record. Okay. Um, so David wrote me, and um, the first thing I ask any band is like, "What have you done before?" And um, I want to hear something that you've done before because I'm trying to make sure that a a band can play their instruments and sure. um, are are pretty decent and like are serious about what they're doing uh, before they come in the studio time, do the studio time. So. Uh, um, I listened to their last record and I thought it was really amazing and I forwarded it over to Crunk C and and he was all over it too. Crunk C? Crunk C, yeah, he's my he's my uh my first cousin, he's my cousin. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we're really close. We talk almost every day. Oh yeah. Yeah. And um um I played it for him and since he had some experience in hip hop culture and I had very little, I thought that Crunk C should come in on this record and see what he could lay down. Hey, and, and that's what I did. And that's what you did. You that's laid what it down. I did. Yeah, man. Good look. My cousin came to me, man. Came to me and he said, man, look here, man. I done ran across this group. You know what I'm talking about? He said he ran across this group, man. He said, the group, man, they, they got some talent, man. They they really got something going on. And they were hot. They were hot. Steaming hot. I mean, boiling out the pot hot. And they got hot girls singing. Pretty mamas. Pretty sexy mama with voices that, voices that carry. So, um, so now, now you guys are you guys are cousins. Oh, there I go. We're cousins. Oh, yeah. Stolen. I'm sorry. We are cousins. We are okay. stolen, man. I'm busy. And I should have known this. My <laughs> professionalism should have told me to cut my telephone. No, it's off. my problem. I, I mean, it's it's my fault. No, it's no, my it's, fault. I've done this before, dog. I'm sorry. This is that, not the first time I've done it. Let me cut. Let me take care of the telephone. Got stolen. Now. Take care of it. Okay. Hold on now. Yeah. You, gotta do, you gotta do business when Look you Look at woman, I'm, I'm in the middle I'm in the middle of a woman, I'm in the middle of an interview, man, and so excuse yeah. me for a minute. I gotta call you right back so, because I'm talking big. Um, you know yeah. what I'm talking he about? He does this all the time. It's no big deal. Okay. Okay. So now is he he's in the band or he huh? he's No no, he's my cousin. Okay. And um my mom don't need that. My, my mom's one hundred percent Polish. I need you to take uh -huh. that trap and, for me. Um, I'm, I'm her sister my hand is his mom. Alright. So he's He's half Polish like I am. Okay. Hey. He's half Polish. I am. I, I, you know, I'm a gangster. You feel me? I'm a gangster, right? Polish, I'm Polish gangster, half Polish gangster. I'm a half Polish part. I mean, I like, I like my women dancing on the pole. You know what I'm saying? I'm from, I'm from the dark side of the pole. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just to be honest with you, I mean, you see it, don't you? You know what I'm saying? And we are cutting, and you know, and. First of all, foremost, let me apologize for my telephone. That's so unprofessional. But I am from. Uh, we are Polish. We are Polish. I don't like to acknowledge it a lot of times because in the hood, it don't, it don't, it don't give me a good reputation. It doesn't go for it. It don't. No, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. But that's all right. I'm not ashamed of who I am. I just don't like everybody knowing who I am. You know. What I'm Did talking you about? like? Was it? Would you get probably picked on a lot when you were a kid? I bet. Well, yeah, because when you drive backwards down the street, people like immediately identify you as being Polish and. It's hard to hide after that. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. You know, wow. Details. Crunk and I would like drive around. You know, obviously he's younger than I am, but uh, we would drive around. I used to babysit him. Okay. You know, the only way I could get him to go to sleep is to play some punk rock classics from the day. That was the only thing that would work. I would play some Dead Dead Kennedys, Fresh Fruit for Rotting Vegetables. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that, man. That stuff used to man rock me to sleep like a little baby, man. DK's little flipper. 
Black flag, okay. Yeah, black flag TV party, put them right out. All that good stuff, huh. man. Yeah, and I have fond memories of it, man. <laughs> and the way he used to rub my belly, I used to have a bad belly. I used to have gas. Like, I used like to have bad gas. I like I he used to rub that like belly. This. And then you cool. could play so. the DKs. Yeah, and he was like he would go right out. Okay. I almost and had a moment right there, <laughs> you know. Quincy almost had a moment, man. Cut uh, off. And all that while driving backwards. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are, yeah, that's talent. that's a great, that's really cool. Well, that's why we're that's, close. I yeah. Mean, very close. Yeah. Okay. Very close. I mean, from time to time, we might, we might, she might call me and ask me, man, what what is that recipe you had for that good old country fried the gravy recipes. chicken? Yeah. Oh. He would call, he called me and asked me, man, totally how you made that pecan pie? Okay. Yeah, we're yeah. totally into the food. We love that food. We love the food. Yeah, we love food. So, oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just, you know, he did so much for me as a youngster, man, and was such an influence. I mean, sometimes I just call him, I tell him, hey, look, man, man, tell your woman, Tell you want my hold on, I'm finna pick you up, we finna go out on the town, I got the limo, we finna pick it up, man, we gonna go ride the town, man, go to a good Italian restaurant or something like that, you know what I'm talking about? That's how we roll. That's how we do it. Okay, yeah, that's, that's awesome, guys. He likes the garlic bread with the cheese on it. Okay. Of course. <laughs> I tell him, man, you gotta watch your weight, man. Yeah. Watch right. your weight, yeah. man. He's up on the cheese. Yeah. You know. So, um. I'm not listening. Are you, so, so you're, you're a full-time, you know, producer, you're, you're, you're doing this for a living, and. I mean, what, what's it like to see to see your music and and what you've done, all your work, played played the video like like Hustle and Fish, you know what? Well, the Hustle and Fish was amazing. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, like two bands, mm -hmm. Stax Brothers and The Quit, uh, their music made it into the into the mu into the movie, and um, I just like the juxtaposition of the the music and how it plays out and how, especially in this film, if people haven't seen it, it's a it's a great film about. Uh, fishing and making a movie about fishing. <laughs> so to fish to make a movie about fishing. His okay, body okay. ironic like that, isn't it? That's right. I didn't even a, think about that. It's actually really about food. <laughs> oh, essentially. Yeah. I didn't even think about fish. that. It is. That's... It's 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 fish. It's about yeah. fish. Yeah. Ooh, it is. Fishing. Good boy. Good boy. And it's good because yeah. the music and the fish you know. They kind of got a little synchronization about themselves, you know, you know. You have a, you know about synchronized swimming, right? You know, I, I, yeah. I, 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 did you it's watch last sport. week? <laughs> did you see? <laughs> no, no, oh. no, I ain't think that. I think nothing oh. in fish. I think for sure. Okay. But what I'm trying to tell you, I don't like the way you really interjected with that, but it's cool. It's cool. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? It's cool. But what I'm saying is, like the stick with nine swimming, they got them nose, they, they swimming and they doing their thing. But the fish and the way they throw the fish, the fly fishing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They throw that thing on out there, they catch that line out there, water about a hundred yards out there, man. Man, them boys put a shark up out the water, man. They took a trip to the and put a shark up out the water, dog. Yeah. Can you imagine that? I, I mean, I was in it. Like, I, I, um, I. That was dog, dog, was whining, man. You do, you yeah. talk. Man, I was wondering why he looks so familiar. I got no, my shades on, man. I appreciate that. I That's... got my shades on, hey, man. Where's his glasses? You did a very good job in the movie. Oh, I appreciate. What was your name again? I'm Steve. In the movie. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Steve. My, I play Steve, the uh, the Steve, the guy that. I was. I, I had a couple women with me. I was. I was smoking my trees, so. I got the gist of the movie. Oh, okay. I got the gist, and it was good movie. You did good, man. Yeah, the fish look good. The fish look good. I love fish. I'm from the south, so I love some good fish. Man. That's right. I really, we really go for catfish. <laughs> no, not my. We go crack, crack uh, catfish and crawdads. Okay. I ain't seen none of that in there, but there's still some good big fish. I've never, uh, I've never fit, I've never fit, I've never caught a catfish actually. I've never really fished. I mean, it's not like there's anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with catfish at all. Like, I'm just. Uh, let's let's start I'm about to say, just stop that right there, <laughs> man. Uh, I was raised on okay. catfish and well, hot puppy, man. Catfish I know, I know. I, I mean, there's, there's like, honestly, there's nothing. Remember, there's nothing. You remember my mama, you cooked them catfish with the mud puppy? Oh, with the hot sauce on them? The hot sauce. With the hot sauce on the catfish. That, that's really what did. Have you ever gone fishing for crappy? <laughs> What's so funny, dog? You don't take my cotton. You don't take my cotton serious. Uh, I know. I think they call it crappie. No, no, it's no. crappy. Crappy. Oh, this is funny. From, you're from out here in the Northwest, right? See, we're from the Midwest. Yeah. yeah. And out there we go fishing for crappy. And they funny to you, right? Uh, this is not. This is not the movie, man. This is not the movie. So all the joking, cracking, and cracking it. 
<laughs> it, no, no more of that. I, know what I'm, I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm, I'm just, I just I thought can't it was, tell. I, I just thought it was funny. Okay. That's all. Well, it is funny. It's, no, I mean, it is funny. Go fishing for crappy. Oh, it's funny. I've never done yeah. it, so I don't. Yeah. I'm, fun. We sorry. like having funny. Yeah. God, I do this every now and again. I put my foot in my mouth. And I like <laughs> didn't even didn't even. I like I upset um, no, circle T. Oh, man, stop while you're up ahead, man. We just play it with man. It's all good and fun, man. It's, it's all about we food. do that. Fish. We do that. It's the